What's going on? Duke of America here, and whew, it's getting a little cold, so in honor of the cold weather coming in, fall starting up, and then winter, uh, I am playing a little game called Eternal Winter. Uh, it's a survival game. I got it on Steam for about six bucks, and after playing it about an hour, it is, I'm going to say it's worth it. I think it's worth the six dollar price tag. Uh, just a forewarning, it's a little unforgiving. Um, there is no tutorial, which I hate, but after about an hour I started to pick things up, plus I cheated a little bit, uh, and looked online. But, nonetheless, we're going to jump right into this. So, without further ado, put on your snow boots. Toss on that parka, and let's jump into Eternal Winter. Sorry, I just love this soundtrack. Let me, let me start this game. We get to name our dogs, and I am super hungry. Uh, I didn't get to eat, so I'll tell you what. We're going to name um, name after food I like. So, let's see. We're going to have... Burger, I'm gonna put burger, and then you're gonna be hoagie. Yes, oh, I could go for a hoagie. Or I could go, definitely go for some pizza. What can I say? I'm Duke of America. I love the American food. And that is definitely American. All of it right there is delicious. And last, I tell you what, out of respect for my, for the escapist, it all is dust. If you watched either of those, what do I need Carl? Carl, get over here. Carl, you're going to be the, uh, I got a feeling you're going to be a stooge of the group. Um, I read online that you want to have everybody as a hunter. I don't know what that means. I guess maybe they'll, they'll attack animals on sight. But uh, I'm going to put them all as hunter. So let's start this game off. Can I say again, I just love this soundtrack. I love just light guitar to it and just with the weather it's just awesome and I tell you what guys I don't know how it is near you but near me it is just it's kind of dreary it's been raining a lot and just with the cold weather and it's kind of been cloudy it's just it feels nice and cozy playing this game having that music play and being wrapped up in a blanket which I am right now um, I was outside like 10 minutes ago I just got back from, uh, I had to deal with some work stuff, and I had to go outside, and I was outside for about an hour or two in the morning. So it's it's nice being all cozy. Maybe I'll make some hot chocolate or something. Uh, eventually go maybe have some friends over and watch a festive movie. That's besides the point. Let's get ready. Uh, I just picked up a crossbow uh, and a hatchet, and I am in vain trying to grab these arrows. My little stubby arms just apparently aren't doing it. So, come on. Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Like, look at this. This is a nice little village. It's cozy. Um, I don't know why I need to search for wood. I keep um, wondering that because I have a hatchet and there's trees right there. Like, what is so hard that I can't get wood right here? Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, Phil, Phil, hey, I'm going out, I'm going out, see ya. Steve, Charlie, hey guys, I'm going to go out, I'll see you later. You guys, oh, nobody's coming, okay. What's up? Uh, Carl, Carl, what's up? Burger, how you doing, buddy? Hoagie, oh, I, could, oh, I would love a hoagie right now. Pizza. Oh, I could go for some pizza too. I got some food in the uh, cooking in the oven though, so I'm gonna play this for a little bit, and then I'm definitely gonna chow down. Okay. So, and we're off. And I mean, just look at this. I love the little sled dog action. I really do enjoy it. Um, steering's very easy. You just tap W, and it goes. But. Just listen to that music. Oh, what was I telling you? I love that music. Okay. Let's 
so let me just kind of I I was told to start off making like lumber yards and whatnot so that's what I'm doing right here that's cool I've never made one before like I said I played for an hour before this and just kind of got a gist of it um, so I guess they make lumber on their own that's the thought process um, Sorry guys, I'm trying to cure a cold. Uh, okay. Look at and it's it's such a beautiful looking game. Like I like these kind of cell nah, nah, I can talk cell shaded games. They just have a and they have a beautiful look to them. And music. Oh, kick it over. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop talking about it now. But all right. Yes. On hoagie, on pizza, on burger, on car. Now that's that's a little bit of a Christmas Christmas reference, and that might be a little too soon. Sorry, guys. I know we're gonna it's about to get jammed down our throat in about a month. Where it's done, maybe even sooner than that. So basically, right now I'm just looking for maybe some food, or that as I speak of it, it happens. So, that birdie is flying low. Come here, Mr. Goose. Come here. Oh, just gotta get that on there. Come on. And I have to load. Maybe having the arrow there would help. Uh, please don't fly away. Uh, let me move a little bit closer. Okay. Well, that was unsuccessful. We're gonna go. We're gonna take two. Take two. Here we go. Oh, yes! I got it. I got it. That's the first thing I ever hit. I'm very happy with myself right now. So we're gonna chop him up. That's that's meat. Yeah, you can't eat raw meat. I can give it to my dogs. So it's good to know I got a little food for uh, maybe pizza or hoagie or burger. Or Carl. And I tell you what, let's see if this works. Um, Carl, Carl, I need to protect you, Carl. Uh, you come with me, and can I take two? Oh, I can only take one. All right, Carl. And in case you don't know what I'm doing, I'm I'm tr I'm in the worst way possible trying to do a Rick Grimes impression and it is just horrible. Uh, I love doing horrible impressions though so please don't exit out. Just kind of pretend like I'm not talking for like a minute or two. Uh oh, uh oh, fire, fire, fire. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Alright. Tell you what, I'm doing good. And F is a flashlight and I'm so used to hidden F. That. I do it way too often. Well. Most games to have F as the thing, so. Carl. Come on, Carl. You're not the brightest, are you? That's alright, I love you all the same. Let's go. You're different, buddy. I named you after food because I'm hungry. I am not having any of that. I am having some chicken. Uh, some barbecue chicken, to be exact. Uh, I just threw a little barbecue on there. Not that you care what I'm eating, but... Yeah. I hope everybody's week or weekend was well. It's Saturday that I'm recording this, so I hope everybody's weekend was well. And I believe I'm going to put this up on Saturday. I'm going to put up a bunch of videos. So a little nerve-wracking. Um, foraying into the Let's Play genre. Uh, so if you guys like, definitely subscribe so I know, hey, might be possibly doing something right there, Duke. Alright. Come on, guys. We can do this. And off we are again. Carl, what happened to your blanket roll thing? Did you lose it? You lost it, didn't you, Carl? What did I tell you about that? Carl, he's let's be honest, he's he's the baby of the group, and we have to watch out for him. 
such beautiful. It's kind of sad to know that in like a month or two, this is going to be the norm. You're going to see a lot of snow. I don't live on the west coast, so I'm going to be seeing a lot of snow. Okay, hold up, guys. I saw another goose. And I'm feeling lucky. I'm sorry, Mr. Goose. We need the meat. And <laughs> Nobody can see what I'm doing, but I'm putting up my hands in a field goal formation saying boom it's good all right cool all right got a little bit more meat awesome let's get back to the sled you know I do love this weather though I love because uh, you know I try not to be too much inside in the summer so it's hard to play video games because I feel like I'm wasting the day sitting inside but this kind of weather I just love I have my uh, blinds open. I'm sitting right near the window. And I'm just kind of staring off right now outside. And, uh, and just looking at all the beautiful weather. You know, I love fall. I love the way it looks. I love, I love a little bit of the dreariness. It just feels cozy to me. You know. So. And, oh, wow. I see a town. I see a town. Here we go, guys. Now we're cooking. I bet you there's loads of supplies here. What I'm hoping is, and I'm kind of scared because this game is very unforgiving. It doesn't, it's, everything's very scarce. What I'm hoping is maybe there's a lot of supplies here and I can live off of this for a little bit. So, stop right here, guys. I tell you what. Let me make a, uh, can I make a waypoint? No. Uh, safe house, safe house, that's right. Let me make a safe house right here. That way I can come and go as I please and maybe survive a little bit longer because then I can stop and sleep at the uh, safe house when I need to. All right, let me get an ax out. Can I chop down trees? I'm going to go with a big no, which... Developer, if you, if you ever watch this, please make it make the ability to chop trees. I mean, if I have a hatchet, why can't I chop a tree? That doesn't make sense to me. All right, we got some fire, which is very nice. Can I cook in it? No. I don't know why I can't cook in it. Or well, whatever. Let me cook it! All right, well... That's a nice looking fire. I like the little pixels coming out though. Oh, here's a stove. Okay. Uh, let's cook some meat. Cook some meat. Oh, uh, I need two matches. Okay. Well, we gotta be able to find matches around here. If I can't find matches, I'm gonna be very upset. Hoagie, burger, pizza, Carl, watch over. The uh, safe house, all right? I'll be back. What is in here? Tell you what, it's ooh, it's chilly in this eternal winter. It's not getting any better. I think this, I don't know if this is supposed to be apocalyptic because this is just weird. There's nobody here. Was this abandoned or never furnished? It doesn't seem like anybody's got anything. And my hopes of living off of this for a while are rapidly uh, evaporating. Oh man. Okay. Well, let's let's go a little bit further. Maybe maybe it's just those two. Maybe we'll find some other stuff. And I got stuck. Let me redirect my course real quick. Alright. Okay. What is that? Once you guys notice, I look both ways. Always look both ways while cross before crossing the street. It's just a no-brainer. All right, this is a jumbo mart. Okay, there's got to be food in here. There's got to be something at least. If there's not, I I might just quit right here. 
Well, no, I'll keep playing it, but that's going to be so depressing if there's nothing here. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. What do we got here? I spy some matches. Yes, okay. We got matches. And what is this? Is that a candy bar? A chocolate bar. All right. So we got some food. I don't even need to cook it. I should probably save it. Uh, powdered milk. Okay. Hey. Oh, well, okay. Who's that? Sorry, I thought he might be a zombie. I'm just taking away. So I, I guess something happened because nobody's picking him up. Maybe like this winter, this blizzard came and it never stopped and nobody could ever get up here and everybody died or something. I don't know. Um, and kind of not knowing is kind of cool. It's just like this is the way the world is right now and you're just going to have to survive in it. Hey, pizza, burger, hoagie, Carl. I found some stuff. I think they're good on food. I'm halfway, which I started halfway anyway. I think I'm not too bad. Um, let's get back to it. So we cleaned that place out. That's This thing is unforgiving, I tell you that much. That was just... All for not really. And I'm very scared that I'm not going to be able to find my way back to the camp right now because I'm thinking of how I got here and I can't remember offhand. But the beauty of this is I'm recording so I can kind of see where I came. So, haha! -ha. This Let's Play is already working. Even if, you know, I don't really get anybody looking at this, at least, you know, I can learn from my mistakes. So. Thumbs up, either way. Ah, uh, see this, these places have two story. They have an upstairs, so maybe there's something up here. And I can't get in there for some reason. And nothing. I tell you what, uh, I don't blame, I don't think it's bad that they don't have a lot of food. I understand that, okay. You're going to make it, you know, a, a tough survival game. That's cool. I understand that. And I'm going to try to survive the best I can. Uh, that said, you know, it'd be, it'd be cool if it was a little bit more interactive. A little bit more interaction. Let me go into the drawers and maybe find some stuff. You know, give some more components. But, hey guys, Carl, where did your, where did your back go? What do you do with it? It's gone now. Was it too heavy for you? Is Burger holding it for you? Just be honest, is Burger holding your mat? Is he doing double the work? I'll tell you what, this I like the way that it looks. It's not Banner Saga, you know, or uh, the other video I have on here, and I don't know if I'm saying it right, Hoten, um, which has just breathtaking scenes, but it's uh it's got a nice little charm to it, and I like it a lot. Okay. Let's see what we got. I spy a candy bar. Very nice. I might eat these and see if I how much my health goes up. But I'll wait till I'm back to my safe house. Because it is getting dark. And I don't know what it's like out in the dark, but I'm not going to risk it. Not on day one. Maybe day two. So let's go. Let's try to find our safe house. Um, we'll search some more of these houses later. Mm, do I want to search another one? Okay, one more. I got a good feeling that there's nothing in here. Uh, broken. So there was stuff here. Uh, I mean, there's electrical lines and whatnot. Man, I wonder what happened. I really do. I know that there's not a story to it, but hmm. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fiending for more stuff. I want to find some good stuff and make this a really good let's play, but there's just nothing out there. Like I said, I'm forgiving. Okay. 
Maybe this is how Santa got his start. And before there was reindeer, there was dogs. That is... <laughs> that is a horrible... Horrible, uh... Theory. But... Hey, what are you gonna do? I'll leave the game theories to game theorist. That guy's too good. That looks beautiful, though. That skyline... Okay. It's nice just being able to press W and just kind of control a little bit with the with the uh, A and D. So, all right, guys. Papa Squat, there, burger, hoagie, pizza. Enjoy. I'm gonna eat these candy bars and see how much uh how much I gain. Ah, uh, that's it. When I eat two candy bars, I feel stuffed. Huh. Uh. All right. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today. I tell you what. Uh, I've been sleeping, and that's day one. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like it, subscribe. You know, hit the like button. Let me know you like it, and then we'll hit day two, and we'll trudge out this into the snow again, and maybe find some more, um, yeah, maybe some pigs or some wolves or something. But I'm just gonna ride off into the sunset for a little bit. I'm gonna probably quit soon and uh, head out. So thank you again. This is Duke of America saying, be awesome and keep it snowy, but not on the road. Keep it snowy everywhere else. If we could have snow come down and not hit the road, that'd be awesome. So keep it awesome and snowy, but not on the road. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good weekend and enjoy yourself. Duke of America is a very awesome guy. And you should totally listen to him and like and totally subscribe. Duke of America is just so great that you should always like and subscribe and maybe watch more of his videos. Duke of America is awesome. And this music is awesome as well.